So it's finally a fit on new Manchester United manager and I am delighted it's the appointment I've wanted since December I made a video when Pep Guardiola and Carlo Angelotti were not announced to be moving to Manchester City and Bayern Munich Mourinho was available he'd just been sacked by um, Chelsea those three were available if you like and I wanted Mourinho and I've got my wish finally and it's three years too late to be perfectly honest but let's eradicate the last three years let's just forget about that bore the cup win the rest of it's been pretty mediocre so hopefully we can get back to winning ways and although Mourinho is not a guarantee of success he's the closest thing that we can possibly get to a guarantee and he's also the best man for the job there is no one better no one can actually give me any solid evidence that would say Louis van Gaal would do a better job next season than Jose Mourinho or Ryan Giggs a lot of people do want Ryan Giggs at the helm and the <laughs> It could work, it could, but realistically, you want a man who's proven in the Premier League. Giggs needs to go elsewhere, manage somewhere, then maybe sometime in the future, he could become Manchester United boss. But for now, he's just inexperienced and we can't take that risk. After three years of mediocrity, Champions League, we missed out on. If we miss out on it again, twice in a row, that would mean that we um, have our commercial deal with Adidas cut by about 33%. We just cannot risk that. Look at Inzaghi for Milan. As soon as Legends retired, he became the manager. And then look where they are now. I mean, of course, you've got success stories from um, players becoming managers. Look at Pep Guardiola. But he had world-class players. Apart from De Gea and maybe Martial in the future, maybe Rashford if he hits his potential. But as of now, just De Gea, who's world-class, we don't have anyone. So it just would have been an unnecessary risk that we just cannot afford to take. We had to go with Jose Mourinho, and we have. It's surreal. It's like when Juan Mata signed <laughs> from Chelsea as well. I, I just it wouldn't sink in for a while. Even though it's been the worst-kept secret ever, I just still can't formulate that Jose Mourinho is our manager. It's the man I've wanted for so long, and we finally got, and, uh, got him. And yeah, as I say, he's not a guarantee of success, but he is the closest thing to it. And now the Manchester derby is going to be just so, so good. Pep Guardiola versus uh, Mourinho. It's it's just going to be nice to see passion on the touchline again. Mourinho is a very passionate man. He's got his faults, of course he does, but maybe he can prove doubters wrong. There's so many myths that I've went through. Three big topics that I've went through in previous videos about how he doesn't play youth. Um, supposedly, he will at Manchester United. The, the, the difference is, he, people don't realise that he does play youngsters that have shown potential. It's the players that he plays once and they don't show him anything that never really see the limelight again. So, for instance, Van Hal's made, I think, 14 players he's gave his uh, their debut, debut. But you look at players like Donald Love and uh, James... Oh, I forgot his name. Weir, uh, the... The youngster that we started, he was a fullback. Like they've played once. Mourinho probably wouldn't give them the opportunity. It's the players that have made an impact, like Rashford, like Lingard, perhaps, that he will give opportunities. Fosu Mensah, Cameron Bro Borthwick Jackson as a backup to Luke Shaw, hopefully. But we'll see. There's also the boring football myth, which I just don't understand. If you if you know how Mourinho plays, for the first half of the season, he'll do what he can. He, he plays. He plays defensive attacking football. Like the goals that he scored with teams like Chelsea in the first half of the season, he beat Arsenal 6 0. How is that defensive? He scored 100, his team scored 121 goals in La Liga or whatever it was, the record with 89 goal difference. When he turns defensive, it's actually quite entertaining. Like it's a, I say that, but when he, when he does go defensive, it's generally when he's trying to wrap up a title after January. So when he gets a goal, he'll sit back and he'll use a full-time whistle substitute like Mikel. That's why he's branded as a defensive coach. There'll be games, especially against low opposition, he does very, very well. He's got great records against Liverpool, Arsenal, Man City, etc. But against the lower opposition, he scores a lot of goals against those. And that's that's what we need again at Manchester United. You know, we struggle against lower opposition when Moyes was in charge, when uh, Van Hal was in charge in particular. So we need someone like this. And I'm trying to remember the third big thing uh, that Mourinho haters talk about. I've completely forgot. I've covered it in a different video and my mind has completely went blank. There's there's the youngsters, there's the, uh, the style of play 
And there's, oh yeah, longevity, but I've went through that a billion times. I mean, you, you never know. Maybe this is the, the job that he needed, because it is the job that he's wanted ever since he was at Inter. Maybe before that, he wanted to become Sir Alex Ferguson's successor. And you could just tell by all his interviews, by all his things. He loved Chelsea. He went back there, obviously, but... In, in his heart, he really wanted to prove himself at Manchester United. He wanted to be, wanted to be Ferguson's successor. Now he's got that chance. Van Hal Moyes failed. Van Hal had a little bit more success with an FA Cup. But in general, they both failed. And uh, both of them, in at least one season, didn't qualify for the Champions League. So now we'll see what happens with Mourinho. But I am delighted and I think it's the best possible thing. Also, he's got pulling power in the world of transfers. Players maybe will get Ibrahimovic. Who knows? His agent's been saying a lot of things, but we'll we'll find out. But he'll be able to attract players, and that's something that Van Hal just wouldn't have been able to do. All Ryan Giggs, I think. So we'll see what happens. But I'm delighted, and I cannot wait until his first game. I think is Borussia Dortmund, 22nd of July. Can't wait. <laughs>